While born into slavery in Richmond, Virginia on October 8, 1837, Powhatan Beatty and his family settled in the free state of Ohio in 1849 as a free man. Beatty enlisted on June 7, 1863 as a private in the Union Army. Two days later, he was promoted to sergeant and on June 17, Beatty and his company became the first members of the 127th Ohio. The regiment first saw action at Sandy Swamp on December 8, 1863. Transferred to the main Richmond-Petersburg campaign, they participated in the capture of City Point on May 4, 1864. They served in the trenches around Petersburg and were part of the assault during the Battle of the Crater on July 30, 1864. By the time he led his men during the Battle of New Market Heights on September 29, 1864, Beatty had been promoted to first sergeant. The attack was met by heavy Confederate fire and resulted in a Union retreat, during which Company G's color bearer was killed and Beatty returned some 600 yards under enemy fire to retrieve the flag. Of the company's eight officers and 83 enlisted men who went into battle, only 16 enlisted men survived the attack unwounded. With no officers remaining, Beatty took command of the company and led it through a second charge. By the end of the battle, over 50% of the black division had been killed, captured, or wounded. For his action, Beatty was awarded the Medal of Honor. The regiment also fought at the Battle of Seven Pines on October 27 and 28, 1864. Heroic again, Beatty earned an acknowledgement in the general orders to the Army of the Potomac. By December 1864, the unit was assigned to the newly formed 25th Corps and took part in the assault on Fort Fisher, North Carolina, then turned north as part of General William Tecumseh Sherman's campaign of the Carolinas. They were present at Bennett Place for the surrender of Confederate General Joseph Johnston's army on April 26, 1865, and were mustered out of service on September 20, 1865. Beatty had participated in 13 battles and multiple skirmishes by the time he left the army. He died on December 6, 1916 at the age of 79 and is buried in Cincinnati.